In this video, we're going to look at the process of downloading a 3D mockup and applying it on our design so that we have a beautiful logo that looks like this. So let's do this. Entrepreneurs and content creators to African multi design. My name is Zanele, and I really appreciate the time that you spend with me on the channel. This video is all thanks to Telangana, Pori, Ekada, all the way from India. Telangana, thank you for inspiring this video today. We're going to look at how we download a 3D mockup and we want to make sure that we have a beautiful 3D logo that looks like this. So just to let you know, all the links and the websites are going to be on the description below. Just like this video that you probably found on our channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for following and thank you so much for liking our video. We truly appreciate the time that you spend on the video. So if you would now want to download a 3D mockup, you would probably go find it on the de description below on this video or any other video. You would then go and follow the link that I would have given to you. So in the example that I'm showing you here, I, I've written down the steps, but I want to show you how it actually looks like and what you need to do in order for you to extract the 3D and upload it to your design so that you have a beautiful looking logo. You would then click on the file that says PS file. And the minute you click on the PS file, you're going to have a download message that looks like this. So most of the 3D uh, mockups that you would get, you will get a message that says downloading a mockup. And now it's counting down to tell you how long it's going to take to download the, the 3D mockup. So you see at the moment it's downloading and at the bottom of the page, I hope you see it here, it has downloaded fully. So you would go either on your computer uh, files or you would go to your downloads to go find it. So if I click on show all and I ask the computer to show me where it has downloaded to, then it has downloaded to my downloads. So you would then go to your downloads and then you would then either right click and say open with. If you're using a Mac, you'd probably have an archive utility. Or if you're using a PC, find one that says extract all because you want to extract the information that's in there. So you either do that or you just double click on it. The minute you double click on it, it will then ask you to put in the password um, in order to extract the file. So remember on the um, definition or, or the description that I've given you, the password is inspiringb.com. Don't copy it. Please don't copy it. Go and paste and type it out. So let me just go back there. Then you need to type it out like that and then you click OK. The minute you extract it, you're going to get a folder in blue that will have the name that's called 3D Class Window Logo Mockup. So all you do, you double click on the folder so that you access again a file that's called 3D Class Window Logo Mockup. Then you just double click on it again. There's going to be a couple of files there that you are going to completely ignore. What you're looking for is a file name that's called PSD. That's the file that you want, and that's the file you're going to be using in order for you to do your 3D. So what we're gonna do quickly, we're gonna go back to our Gmail, we're gonna go to Photop, and once we get to Photop, we're gonna go to Open from Computer, and then we're gonna find that file that says PSD. Then we're gonna click Open, and ask the computer to load it on photo P. And now it's loaded. Once you get here, you just double click where it says logo, and then you just hide the words, and then it looks like that. That's perfect. You would then now go find your 2D, 
that you have um, created and you go open and place and you go find it this one on my desktop you drag it again to the file you move it and you size it quite nicely remember just look at the um, end of the file itself when you are converting it into a um, shape you're gonna go file and you're gonna say I want to convert it into a smart object then you click smart object and you watch these lines need to go away and it takes a moment and it's converting into a smart object and then it's gone converted you're gonna click where it says 3d glass window and you wait a moment in order for it to convert into a 3d logo and there you go there's your logo done and dusted all you need to do now is to just export it as a png and that's how you extract and you download a 3d mock-up and you apply it i hope you are enjoying these um, lessons that we have and just continue subscribing and continue liking the videos and commenting i truly appreciate the time that you spend with me i'll see you next time Music